of that oar from the boat that he rode. And there's also a part of a uh, palm leaf that Mahaprabhu wrote in his own hand of the Bhagavad Gita to give the Lord that in his own copy that he hand wrote. So he gave them lunch prashad and then they were leaving and he said, don't go. 
And Mahaprabhu said, I thought you wouldn't say that. So, and he pulled out these deities of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. And he says, we will stay. And he gave the deities to Gurdas Pandit. And Gurdas Pandit said, don't try to cheat me. I don't want deities. I want you. <laughs> I don't want deities of you. I want the real you. And Mahaprabhu and Nityananda were already walking away. And Mahaprabhu said, okay. And they stopped. And they turned into deities. And then the deities started walking away. <laughs> and Gurdas Pandit was like, just like, what is going on? And so the ones, he just like, he's like, who do I talk to? Who do I talk to? The ones that are walking away, he says, no, you, stay. And then they stopped. They said, okay. And they turned into deities. And then the deities, who were formerly the, then they started walking away. This happened a series of times until finally he said, okay, whatever, Mahabharata, just, what, please, I'll take the deity thing. <laughs> So Srila Prabhupada has given us Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. <clears throat> and I'm supposed to be singing, but speaking is also singing, right? So Srila Prabhupada, I heard this analogy given by my Guru Maharaj of Holiness Radhana Swami, quoting Srila Prabhupada, the Chataka bird. Is everyone familiar with the Chataka bird? The Chataka bird. He only drinks water that comes from the monsoon cloud. If I was my Guru Maharaj, I would I'd go like, I don't have the skills. I don't have Maharaj's skill set. Uh, only drinks water that comes from the monsoon cloud. And there's water everywhere. Why only from the monsoon cloud? There's rivers, there's wells, there's lakes. There's creeks. There's puddles. How many birds have you seen drinking from a puddle? Never a Chataka bird, I'll tell you that. Because the Chataka bird only drinks from the monsoon cloud. He's lost the taste for water that has touched the earth. So sometimes we look around our society and we think, you know, this guy's criticizing me all the time on the internet. Why doesn't he just leave me alone? I'm unfriending him. <laughs> We have so many difficulties. You think, how come this guy's criticizing the way I'm dressing the deities? How come, how come these devotees don't like my vista? Look, how come the, what is the GBC? Like, whatever, whatever our thing is, whatever our program is, right? How come the women always? How come the men always? Why do those young kids always? Like, it's always something, right? Radhanath Maharaj was saying, if we could understand, Srila Prabhupada has given us Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has invited us into the, the, intimate pastimes of Radha and Krishna because we're so qualified? What? No. What? what? Why am I being invited? What qualification do I have? I'll put it on the record. I'm a total nonsense. What qualification do I have to be invited into Radha Krishna Leela? None. None. I have such a nice voice. Krishna wants me in the spiritual world to hear my kirtan. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. I have no qualification. So what is our qualification? We have some qualification. Otherwise, why are, we, why are we being invited? The only qualification is the mercy of the devotees of the Lord. Srila Prabhupada's mercy, the mercy of our gurus, the mercy of the parampara, the mercy of ultimately Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the mercy of Radha and Krishna. That's the only qualification. And if we realize that we've been put to the front of the line on the greatest roller coaster ride in existence, we'd be so grateful. And we would never worry about these tiny little difficulties and details. Like the Chitaka bird, we have to lose the taste for the water that comes anywhere else. Only that water. I want that water. And Prabhupada gives such a beautiful analogy of what happens sometimes to this poor little bird. He's been thirsting, thirsting for months for water because he wants that water. And he goes up into the monsoon cloud and the thunder and, the, and, the, and he's just like scared out of his wits. He's shaking, but he's just waiting. Krishna, Krishna, drop the water, drop the water. And Prabhupada says, sometimes lightning bolt. But it doesn't matter because he says, You just, whatever you do, my Lord, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want this water in the front. I want the water from your Lord's feet. That's what I want. So then whatever it takes, give me lightning. This should be our mood. If, if, we're, if we understood, 
if we understood how lucky we are, then all these difficulties, but lightning is up, whatever lightning may come. Thunder, lightning may come. Yeah, so I might die, I might die. But I've lost the taste of anything else. So, in that mood, damn it, sorry. I put some, I was cutting chilies for breakfast. I mean. <laughs> I rubbed my eye with <clears throat> Together. Jaya Shri Krishna
नाम कार्य बहुदान
of the Acharyas. So of course these verses are written by Lord Chaitanya himself. Once you chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind. Thinking oneself lower than a straw on the street. One should be more tolerant than a tree. Devoid of all sense of false prestige and ready to offer all respect unto and to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. Oh, 
Jesus, disciple of Bhakti Tirtha Maharaj, named Ananda Rupa Mataji. I don't know if anyone remembers Ananda Rupa Mataji. I think she was like a black belt in some kind of karate or kung fu or something. So, once after the Kirtan with Bhakti Tirtha Maharaj, she came up to me at the end of the Kirtan. I thought she was gonna say something like, thank you Prabhu, that was a nice kirtan, or something like that, what people usually say. She grabbed my hands and she looked in my eyes and she said, you have to wield the holy name like a weapon. She said, we have to wield the holy name like a weapon. We have to defeat Maya using the weapons of a holy name. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> please don't beat me up. I always remember that. I'll never forget that. So let's in that mood together.
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare.